I've been using the iPhone 7 Plus now for a couple weeks, and I opted to get the jet black version. If you've been following me, and a lot of you have, you'll know that I did an unboxing video on that iPhone. Now, I've been reading the comments, and I hear you guys. I'm going to do a follow-up now. I've been traveling around, I've had the device in a case, and I want to show you guys how durable is the jet black under normal use. Now. I've taken precautions by using a case, but to be honest with you guys, I haven't been very nice to the device. I mean, I've been using it to shoot video, it's been in my pocket, I think it's even hit my keys a couple times, I throw it on the uh, seat in my car, you know, it, it's a phone. So I haven't babied the device. I wanted to see, you know, without wrecking it or taking a knife to it like all these other YouTubers are, which in my opinion is just stupid how is the device going to handle and is the case okay now a lot of you mentioned that i'm using just a stock kind of rubber case and a lot of you said this is going to scratch up my device so the cases that you can get through apple are not see-through so why would i get the jet black if i can't see it but they have a felt on the inside which many of you suggested that i use so that my device doesn't get scratched and like i said again I didn't buy this device to hide it, I bought it to show it off. So I, uh, I haven't even cleaned it up yet. <laughs> I've got a microfiber cloth here so that we can clean it up. I want to start with the front and then we'll take the case off and move it to the back. I have removed this case three or four times since putting it on the phone in the unboxing video. A couple times for videos themselves and a couple times just to show a few people. I haven't put the device down on its back without the case that I remember, but I might have, so I am expecting some scratches. Let's take a look. So let's clean the screen. Nice microfiber, and hopefully this shows up pretty well for you guys. So the front is really holding up well. I don't see any major scratches, although there's a few blemishes on here, and actually, right here if we turn the screen back off yeah I I don't see anything that's really significant um, so let's take the case off Ugh. if you're looking for a good uh, case I'll throw a link in the description for this case so far it's doing pretty good now before I wipe it off with a microfiber cloth you can see here looks like a little bit of stuff has gotten into the device try and focus but no major scratches. So let's wipe it off and this will show us the best results of how this device is holding up. So like I said again, I haven't really been nice to it, so I'm gonna be quite surprised. Now, I actually I do see a few scratches. So there you guys have it. Under normal wear and tear using a case, this is what my device looks like after one week. It's almost impossible to see, but do you see that little blemish on there? There is a few spots, but that's like it. So, no, I'm not worried about using a clear case. I think even if it does scratch it up on the corners or on the little sides, it's not that big of a deal. I'm. Um, you know, I'm not trying to baby this device. I'm not just going to keep it the way it looked right when it came out of the box. Camera lens. Really hard to focus here, guys. I'm very sorry about that. It is looking... There we go. Camera lens looks pretty good. I would say the device is in really good condition. So, there you have it. How is the device going to hold up? You see for yourself. Now if I were to take a knife to this or throw my keys with it, I'm sure it's going to get wrecked. But for the most part, the finish is actually holding up very well. There is a little, as you've probably seen in there, it's really hard to see, but there's almost a blemish. Must be from the case rubbing against it. So I'm sure this will vary case to case that you use. Um, like I said, I'm just using some standard case that I bought off Amazon that I actually really like. It's thick enough that the uh, camera lens doesn't sit on 
surfaces when you place it down, but it's thin enough that it doesn't add a huge bulk to the phone. And there you have it. So how is the iPhone 7 Plus holding up for scratches with the jet black? Very well. I'm really happy with it. I know this video isn't going to satisfy you all, and it is extremely difficult, I must say, to film the jet black. As you can see, it just reflects everything. So I apologize if uh, this video wasn't exactly what you were looking for. Uh, hopefully, this helps some of you decide if you want to get the jet black. Again, a clear case. At least you can see that it is the jet black, but doesn't wreck it. So there you guys go. That's my verdict. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you again next time.